Oh, what's up, guys? It's Pete here, just bringing you another tutorial on some masking effects. Um, as you probably see the, from, from the preview, that's what we're going to be doing. Like the last one, it looks pretty beast. Um, you can use it in pretty much anything to do with the scope on any game. Um, you could even use this for Halo. I don't know, any other, I guess, Modern Warfare type game. Um, so, yeah, you're going to need Vegas for this, and you're also going to need a plugin. Um, I'm pretty sure a majority of people who do have Vegas actually have this plugins, these plugins anyway. But it's going to be new blue effects. Um, it's going to be 3D. Uh, if you just go to our website um, or look online, you know, on YouTube, how to get this hint hint. <coughs> um, and then 3D transformations. I would have said because it's a trans, it is, yeah, transformation. So um, yeah, if you get that, then you should be all good to go. Um, so yeah, get your two clips you're gonna need. One just whatever it doesn't really matter. Um, just cut this down. So I quick just edit this a bit to six. But if it looks a bit blurry, it's because I'm I'm not in full quality. Um, and then you're gonna need to find a part where you got like a scope. Um, let me just show you an example. So let's find a first shot he takes. Okay, so cut it where he like scopes in pretty much like there, and then save where you sample. Sorry, I'm just uh, making sure it looks right. There we go. And then put it straight there. We'll do more stuff to it. So as you can see, it just goes straight into it. it looks pretty horrible, but whatever. Just get rid of that. Um, so you're gonna need to make a new video track, and then get your little scrubber thing, whatever it's called, right. Pretty much where like the scope starts if that makes sense and then where this says save snapshot to file up next to the video preview just click it and then save it wherever and just click press ok and it should pop up in your project media and then drag it on that um, third layer you just made or that net the other and the, the, the new layer you just made and then just put it kind of close to where it starts I mean you can mess around with it in a minute um, and now you're going to need to mask the scope, so this part like around here. I'm just going to make it very rough. Um, so open up Event Bankrupt and then the mask option and then get your pen tool. Zoom in a bit and just mask around it. But I know the quality on this image isn't very good because it's in shit video preview. I'm not stupid. Um, like I said, just making this very quick, you should do it a lot more better than this. I don't normally like doing this sort of effect in, or this sort of masking in Vegas, because for some reason it never looks as good. Like with After Effects, you always get, a, in my opinion, a better result. Because you can use a lot more shortcuts and all that. So as you can see, that looks pretty, pretty shit, pretty bog standard masking, but just add a bit of a feather um, in. Just put it on one, and it looks alright. Um, and then X out of the pan crop and then get your transition like I said you're gonna need new blue effects for this and just search for a new blue 3d comb and then look for the first transition called aluminium sticks and then just drag it on to your uh, masked scope thingy and as you can see it just vanishes and then drag this little fade offset I guess because I'm not sure what it's called but whatever just drag it to like where the scope starts like there as you can see right now you're gonna need to make another video track and copy the one you've just edited I guess you could say and then put it about there as you know yeah, about there so just make it so it's like that and then um, and then go to event pan crop again and then mask and then put the mode on negative so it comes in like that as you can see um, but you're not going to want to use this transition we're going to use the gradient wipe which is default you should have it I'm pretty sure you should um, and then just use the circle out and just drag it onto the end again and then drag it to where it fits so you just need to like match up so it looks pretty decent so as it scopes in and it comes out And 
to start uh, slicing it. So, um, zoom in a bit. Okay, then that should look good. And then just have a, let's have a little preview of it. I'm just going to put in any shitter quality. So that was probably a bit too fast. So let's make that a bit longer. So uh, yeah, you get the idea. Maybe that's once again a bit too fast. Just make it a bit slower. Yeah, that, that's that's pretty much a good length to have that. Yeah, that's cool. That, that's that's what you need. So that's the effect. It's it's quite easy to do. Um, you know, it's simple, but it looks nice, and that's the whole point. Um, no matter how simple it is, as long as it looks based then it's all good. Um, so yeah, I hope this in you enjoyed this tutorial, and I would like to say thanks a lot for the views on Metric. It's I, I got on Hazard pretty much every channel. Um, I got really s random image as well from this person, where it was like, in their sub box I had like four of the videos there, four of Metric there. So yeah, I would like to say thanks, and I'll speak to you a bit.